for unexpected trials and tribulation. Amen. 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 Preparing for it. Preparation. Preparation process needs to be in place when we prepare for it. Unexpected trials and tribulation. Amen. Let's go to the word of God tonight. God, we thank you. Thank God for Thank Lady J tonight. All the saints that's out tonight. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into our Bibles. Get with John chapter number see I, Before I go and go here, I want to mention this. That's got to be things that come up in your life that you're not going to be ready for. That's right. And I know a lot of times people will tell you. They will tell you that, you know, once I've been on the Lord's side, every day has been sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. That's a lot for some of us. Everything ain't always been sweet. Amen. Everything ain't always been kind. And I'm here tonight to prepare you for unexpected trials and tribulations. Amen. Unexpected trials and tribulations. Because I want us as now to be ready to handle it when it comes. Because it's coming. Did y'all know trials are coming your way? Amen. Let's go to the word of God. Amen. Dealing with unexpected trials and tribulations tonight. Thank God for the ministry being here tonight. Let's go to John chapter 16 and verse 33. Unexpected trial and tribulation. Amen. Somebody say unexpected. Unexpected. So you think you're going to get through this life and you're going to never have some down days. That is a lie. You think you're going to have a perfect life with Christ and you ain't going to have to suffer nothing. That's another lie. I don't know why people out there telling folks stuff like that. It ain't true. You're going to have some up days and you're going to have some down days. Amen. Life is full of disappointment and life is full of joy. I thank God for being on the Lord's side. But that don't mean I'm exempt from trial. Amen. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. And I want y'all to be prepared tonight, the ones that are married. What if your husband fall dead from a heart attack? Jesus. Jesus. What if the ones that you love the most, your mother passed? Oh, you know that can happen. Your father can pass. Your child can pass. And when we are not prepared for stuff like that, it blindsides us. Because somebody say, nobody ever told me that I was going to have a stillborn child. Amen. Amen. So I'm trying to tell y'all in this life, yes, it's good, so the Lord, but prepare for unexpected trials and tribulations. Yes. I know y'all ain't never heard no man like this before. We always told that Jesus gonna make it better by and by. But in this life, let's go to John chapter number 16 and verse number 33. I'm gonna tell you what Jesus says, if you don't believe me. <laughs> let's go to what Jesus said. Amen. 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 Somebody say, let's stay in the book, Pastor John. Say, you want me to teach people out of your own mind? Amen. John chapter 16 and verse number 33. What did Jesus say? Let's start with verse 31. And Jesus has said, do you not believe? Verse number 6 and 32. And he said, behold, I will come and yea, is now come, ye shall be scattered. Every man to his own and shall leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. Amen. These things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have what peace Daddy, me, you're going to have peace. In this world, you shall have what? Tribulation, which means frustration, aggravation, temptation, humiliation. And I don't know, you're going to have some of that. Along with the joy that come out of life, you're going to have some stuff like that sometime. Yeah, nobody told you that. I'm going to tell you today. He said, in this life, you shall have tribulation. But feel good cheer. I have overcome. So in the midst of your trial, you gotta learn how to smile. Amen. In the midst of your trial, you gotta learn how to keep going. I didn't know that the day after Christmas my suit was gonna pass. Jesus. I didn't know that the first of the year I was gonna be we were gonna be buried her. And yet Pastor Jones cried. Yes. I cried. Jesus. Yes, Lord. And guess when I got home, guess what my big brother told me? Big brother Willie, 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 Willie saw, I love my brother, but he saw the straight to the point, he's blunt. He met me, he said, Barry, he said, Barry, I'm going to tell you what mama said, she still got to go to work. What? I didn't expect to hear that from my big brother. But I, I can almost hear my mama speaking through him, and I ain't not trying to be crazy like that, but I'm just trying to say, it seemed like, that's what she would have said. Life still goes on even in the midst of your trial. In the midst of your heartache, life still goes on. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. 
In other words, don't quit your job. Rose is dead. Your big silver dead. Now you got to move on. Get about the living, the life, the situation with the living. Amen. Jesus. What? See, we don't expect stuff to happen. And it blindsides us. And we ain't ready. Because we're told that Jesus is going to fix everything. And he will in time. But in this life, you're going to have some tribulation. And I don't want nobody at matter to be blindsided when they go through trials and tribulation. Amen. Don't think that the Lord is picking on you. Jesus. And never experienced, what is that? A miscarriage. You want to steal one of the miscarriage. What? Never done that. My wife and I almost lost my wife a year ago. I was living over a year ago. She almost, she, she almost died. Y'all don't know. You are clueless how close she came to death. Amen. She like the bread to death. Red in, red in the midst of all them doctors, all them nurse practitioners, all these are in. She like to lay red down bread to death. And it was like a spirit upon them. Each one of them coming and see the blood. And they go back and they don't they forget about it. I'm like, what's wrong with y'all? My wife is pretty dead. Jesus. Nobody told us that was coming. No prophet said that is coming. Jesus. Man. But I won't now be aware if stuff happens, be aware the Lord ain't picking on you. That's right. Amen. And you're going to have to go through some things sometimes. Yeah. So the only thing we can do is what? Prepare when it comes. Make ultimate plans. Yeah. If my wife dies, like Lady Jones, if I die, she knows she's a doer. She go back to doing, doing, doing work. She's a, she's a, she's an insurance agent. She's sitting back there waiting on. Oh, here we go. You know what? I got a big fat life insurance policy. She's sitting back there waiting. She wants to sit back there waiting on me to die and then to collect the life insurance policy. See, but the saints of God, we get comfortable in Jesus and we don't think that this could happen to me. We don't think that the child could expire. We don't think that the husband could die. We don't think that the child could be killed. We don't think that this. And when it comes to pass, we are blindsided. Because somebody told us that we ain't gonna have to suffer nothing once we get on the Lord's side. That's a lie. It is. He said in this life you shall have tribulation. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's go to the Word of God. Let's go. So we get them. In this life you shall have tribulation. Amen. That's what Jesus said. But be of good cheer. Amen. I've overcome the world. Let's go to First Peter, chapter number one, verse number six and seven. Dealing with preparing for unexpected trials and tribulations. 